Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I am bringing you stuffed mushrooms with bacon, sausage, cheese, and all kinds of wonderful flavors. This is a really easy recipe and it's a delicious appetizer for the holidays or any time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you everything we're going to need to make this and then I'm going to show you how simple it is to make it also. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. Alright, go find you some beautiful mushrooms and let's get started. Alright, let me show you everything we're going to need to make our stuffed mushrooms. We're going to start right here with two pounds of white whole mushrooms. Look how big those are. I picked these up from Costco. They don't have to be quite this big though, y'all. <laughs> I've got one third of panko crumbs. These are breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs if you would like. We've got some cream cheese. I'm going to use four ounces of. We've got some Colby Monterey Jack shredded cheese, about half a cup. You can use any kind of shredded cheese that you want. I've got one tablespoon of cooking oil. We're going to use about one to two tablespoons of parsley. I've got three tablespoons of butter. About one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now I have some minced onion here and we're going to use about a quarter of a cup. Got some salt and pepper. Got some real bacon pieces here. Probably about a quarter of a cup. And then I've got one pound of Italian sausage that I'm going to cook up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees. And I'm going to take a casserole dish here. I'm going to go ahead and lightly spray it. All right, now with our mushrooms, we need to clean them. Now I'm not going to run them over water or stick them in a bowl of water, okay, because then they're just going to soak that water up and they're going to be mushy. So I'm just going to take some wet, damp paper towels here and then I'm just going to go over the mushroom with it, along the side, the top of it, and just kind of wipe it off, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with a small knife and just cut the stem out. I'm going to go around the edges of it and then it should just pop right out. Just like that. Now I'm going to save the stems because we're going to use some of those in our stuffing. All right. now that I've got that cleaned out, I'm going to put this into my baking dish with the top of it on the bottom. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and make our stuffing. I'm going to start browning up my sausage. I'm just heating up my pan here and I'm going to add about one tablespoon of some cooking oil. We need a little liquid in this so that it can kind of saturate through the panko crumbs. Alright, we'll go ahead now and add my sausage. Right, I'm just going to use my meat chopper here. Y'all like it? <laughs> Have y'all seen one before? Alright, so you just put it on your meat and you twist. On any type of ground meat, like ground sausage, ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, anything like that. And it really helps break it all up while you're browning it. Alright, y'all, I'm going to bring y'all back as soon as all of this is browned up. While my sausage is browning, I'm going ahead, I'm melting some butter in my microwave, and then I'm also chopping up my stems for my mushrooms. We're going to use this in the stuffing. As many as you want. So my sausage is almost done. I'm going to go ahead now and add a little bit of garlic, about two teaspoons. I'm going to add the stems that I chopped up. That way those can absorb all the flavors too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead now and add my minced onion. Maybe about an eighth of a cup here. Whatever you want to put in there. 
it's smelling really good in here. Okay, so in a large bowl, I've got my four ounces of room temperature cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add my all of my sausage mixture here. Isn't that a great aroma? Ooh. All right, I'm going to add about half a cup of my shredded cheese. And that looks good. I'm going to add some parsley. Well, that looks good. Some pepper. Good amount. We've got a lot of mushrooms to stuff. And then we've got our binder here, which is one third cup of panko crumbs. All right, I'm going to give this all a mix and we're going to give it a taste and see if we need to add anything else. Okay, we got a nice mix on this. I'm going to go ahead now and add my bacon bits, about a quarter of a cup. Oh, you don't have to add bacon bits if you don't want to, but let me tell you what. My family loves them in there. I already had my husband come in here and give it a try because he is the guru of stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> and this is kind of a new flavor combo for us, and he loves it. He said it's great. All right, there you go, y'all. Let's stuff some mushroom caps. All right, so I've melted my three tablespoons of butter, and I just have a little pastry brush here. What I'm going to do is just lightly slather the butter onto each mushroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more flavor. More yumminess. And then after I do that, I'm going to start putting my mixture into the mushroom caps. All right, now depending on the size of your mushrooms, I'm just using a one-inch scoop here and just pack it in there and then I'm just going to put it on top of the mushroom like that and then just kind of press down so it gets in there just like that you want these mounded above the mushroom there oh yeah perfect bite right Now I'm going to go on top of those with a little bit of extra cheese right on top of them. Like that. Oh yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> Just make sure you press firmly on that cheese to stick to the sausage there. Alright, so you might have some extra stuffing left, and if you do, that's fine. You can put it in a shallow little casserole dish or a little pan and just cook it the same time you do the mushrooms and use it as a little dip. Or you can stuff like peppers with it, you know, whatever you want to do. Alright, that way you don't waste what's left in there. You can even put it in the bottom of your casserole dish here with your mushrooms, alright? Mm -hmm. You know, we can just scoop it all out. I got some head shakers back there going, uh huh. <laughs> All right, y'all, these are going to go in my preheated oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes. All we're looking to do is heat these things through, make the mushrooms nice and tender, and also that cheese nice and golden brown. All right, we'll be back. All right, we have these beautiful mushrooms out of the oven. Look at that cheese. It turned a golden brown color. It's so wonderful in here. All right, I've got my taster over here because why not? He loves stuffed mushrooms and he will know. All right, go for it. Good, the mushroom still has a little bit of texture to it. It's not mush. A little tender. Yeah, well, it's tender, but it's not mush. All right. Mush is not good. Mmm. <laughs> Look at these. What do you think? That's freaking awesome. Alright. Do we have a winner? Winner. I don't think he's going to walk off with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright y'all, if you want to see more of these shows, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when they are posted. If you are my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch this one on appetizers. All right, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like in your stuffed mushrooms. All right, y'all. 
I will see you on my next episode.